Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Alex the Comic Quarter. Thanks so much for pushing play on this video. I've got a really great haul behind me and I'm excited to show you guys. Are you ready? Here we go. In the last week, I've done a couple unboxings of really great keys. Some people may have missed those because I think some people watch the larger hauls. So I'm gonna include those books right now so you guys can check out what I've picked up in the last couple weeks. The first book that I did an unboxing for in the last couple weeks is this Action Comics 252, the first appearance of Supergirl Kara Zor-El. It's a 2.0, it's an upgrade from my 0.5 to 1.0 raw copy. The next book that I upgraded is Detective Comics 359, the first appearance of Batgirl Barbara Gordon, and I upgraded my copy from probably about a 2.0 to this 5.5 CGC graded copy. I did an unboxing for this about a week ago. I got it from Jeremy Edwards. This is Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, number 134. This is the first appearance and cameo of Darkseid. So thanks a lot, Jeremy. I really love this book, 6.0, and it is cream to off-white pages. I've got one more key issue that I've upgraded in the last couple weeks, and it's at the end. It's a huge Marvel key, so stay tuned for that. I picked up Shazam number one, written by Jeff Johns. Great story with great artwork. Introduces you to Billy Batson and the rest of the Shazam magic family. This is also a nice jumping on point for anyone who's getting ready for the Shazam movie. I finally picked up my copy of Catwoman number four. Really beautiful cover by Art Germ. This is Catwoman number five, another great one by Art Germ as well. This is another great Joshua Middleton cover. This is Batgirl 29. Batgirl B covers by Joshua Middleton have been one of my most anticipated pickups of New Comic Book Day. One thing I have noticed though is that Batgirl looks to be like a different person every single cover. So I'm curious about that. I'm curious if anyone else has noticed that as well. This is Venom number seven. This is a story by Donny Cates. And this is the mystery secret variant with the tongue sticking out. When I went into the shop, I was the second one in the shop, and the first guy beelined it over, was scanning the wall as quickly as he, as he possibly could, found the Venoms, grabbed every single Venom comic book, held them in his hand, and sorted through until he found all the tongue variants, plucked them all out. Luckily, uh, the shop owner saved me one beforehand, so happy to have this book. This is Heroes in Crisis number three. I've been following this story with Booster Gold and Harley Quinn. One thing I did like about this B cover was it depicts when Wonder Woman snapped the neck of Maxwell Lord using her lasso. This next stack of books is from a used record store and I wanna share you guys what I found at that place. This is the mini series by John Byrne. This is the Man of Steel, which kind of reinvents and reimagines the origin of Superman. This is issue number one. Here is issue number two. It says, Introducing Lois Lane. This is issue number three, face to face with the Dark Knight. Here is issue number four with Lex Luthor. Here is issue number five with Bizarro on the cover. And finally, this is the conclusion to The Man of Steel, the reimagined origin by John Byrne. This is number six. The next book I got was Fantastic Four number 11. This is the first appearance of Aisha or Her. Every time I'm in a comic book shop or a place that sells comic books, I always look under the Z section to find Zatanna by Adam Hughes. I was lucky enough to find Zatanna number 11, and this was only a quarter. Last at that used record store, I was able to find Amazing Spider-Man 263, the first appearance of Normie Osborn newsstand edition. This is from 1984, and this thing is pretty darn nice condition. There is one color-breaking spine tick uh, right by the staple, but otherwise, this is a great looking copy. The majority of the rest of this haul is Bronze Age Marvel. Was really lucky enough to find a huge stack of Bronze Age books for a really good price at a half price books. The first book that I found was this Captain America 199. It's The Trial of the Falcon. The next book that I found was Captain America 192. This is the first appearance of the second Moonstone, Carla Soffin. I will pick up this book every single time I can find it in nice condition. This is Captain America 193. This is when Jack Kirby comes back to Marvel and takes over the writing of the story as well as the artwork. It is absolutely phenomenal stuff from cover to cover. This is also Jack King Kirby's writing as well as artwork. This is Captain America 194. Captain America 195. This is Captain America 196 and you can just tell by that Captain America face that that's Jack Kirby's artwork. 197, same with this cover, Jack Kirby, story and artwork. And once again, because it was in such nice condition, this is Captain America 217. At the same half price books, these are all 1970s Fantastic Four books. The first one is Fantastic Four 179. This is Fantastic Four 184. This is the first appearance of The Eliminator. This is Fantastic Four 185. This is Fantastic Four 186. This is the first appearance of The Salem Seven. Fantastic Four 192, 
number 194. Here's 195, 196, this is 197, this is Fantastic Four 204, this is the first appearance of Queen Adora in Tanakh Vault. Queen Adora was the prime commandant of the Nova Corps, and then Tanakh Vault was the commander of the Nova Corps after Richard Ryder returned to Earth. This is Fantastic Four 208. Fantastic Four 234 with a Daredevil appearance. And this is 235 in that same storyline with the Daredevil. Incredible Hulk 166, it's the first appearance, and I don't think I'm going to say it like they probably want you to say it, but it's Z-Z-Z-A-X, so Zax, and I'm sure they want you to say it like you're being electrified, so there's Zax right there. Found a copy of Amazing Spider-Man 146, this is a Jerry Conway story with a John Romita cover. And the last book is a huge Marvel key that I've upgraded for my collection. This is the book that I've wanted to share with you guys for so long. Uh, I've had two copies of this book. The first one was pretty beat down. The second one is a 3.5 and I'm so happy that I was able to sell that and share that with someone in the community. So big shout out to Bub's Comics. Thanks so much for buying that book. Really am glad that you've got that and I hope you enjoy that one. I really thought that that was my keeper. And then this one um, came became available and I knew that I really wanted to try for this book while the prices are still pretty attainable for a book of this caliber in this grade. And without further ado, here's the book. It's Giant Size X-Men in an 8.0 CGC. And this has got white, excuse me, off-white to white pages. This is the first appearance of Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus, and Thunderbird, and the second appearance of Wolverine. This is absolutely anybody who is an X-Men fan uh, must have book. And that's it, you guys. I'm so excited to finally have Giant Size X-Men number one in an awesome 8.0 grade. I think that will probably be the end-all, be-all. Search for me on that book. Probably won't be looking for an upgrade on that. Really excited to have the first appearance of Dark Side and Cameo with this Neil Adams cover, so thanks, Jeremy Edwards, for that. And then, as well, the first women of Batman and Superman. We've got Barbara Gordon and Kara Zor-El. Supergirl and Batgirl, who I consider the first women of those series. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you could drop a like rating, let me know what you're looking for. Are there any grails that you're looking to upgrade? Are there any books that you're really hunting for in 2019? Put it in the comments below and let's get that conversation going. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, would just encourage you guys to hit that subscription button and hit that notification. I've got two more hauls already ready to go. It's insane. I've been finding some really cool books. 2019 is going to be a crazy year. I'm going to be laser focused, but right now I'm still finding awesome books at great prices. So hopefully you guys are well. Have an awesome Christmas if we don't see you beforehand, and I'll talk to you all on the next one. See ya. Bye.